Hi, this is Paul Drew from Studio One Expert. Today I'm going to show you how, how quick you can create a song by using the Arranger track. I'm going to record all my ideas for the different sections of the song, then chop it up to create an arrangement. So first of all, what I'm going to do is to load in some drums to work with. So I'm going to put these at bar three. And the reason I'm doing this is that I want to get used to the tempo of the song and the metronome is going to help me do this. So I'm going to push the C key on my keyboard to turn the click on. So let's get started by recording some guitars. Okay, great. Now I'm going to double that guitar part, but I'm going to use a different guitar and play some, some of the parts with different versions. I'm going to do this to create a big stereo width, and I'm going to pan them out hard left and right. Okay, so there's my two guitar parts, now let's record some bass. Okay, I'm going to stop that there because I want to record the next bass part with a plectrum. So if I can find a plectrum here, and here we go. Okay, great, so now I've recorded that, let's just tidy these bits up so uh, we're a bit neater. So just move this bit here. That'll do. Uh, just chop here, let's tidy this bit up. And just at the end as well. Okay, great. So what I'm going to do now is to name the different sections in the arranger track. 
So if I select my pencil tool here, and we're going to draw in the sections while it's playing. Okay, so the first section I'm going to do for 16 bars, I'm going to call that verse, which is the default one that comes up first. Okay, so how do we create an arrangement? I can do it in two places. I can do it here, and I can just copy the sections about. But I can also create an arrangement over here in my arrangement editor. And I'm gonna choose verse pre-chorus and insert it just before the middle eight here. And I'm also gonna add a chorus after the middle eight. So if you look at my screen now, you'll see that I have the whole arrangement. Now to copy, I need to hold down the Alt key. So if I want a double chorus at the end, say, I have to hold down the Alt key and drag it down here and it copies it. If I just drag it, it will just move and not copy. And I'm just gonna undo that. So as you can see here, I've got verse, pre, chorus, verse, pre, chorus, middle eight and chorus. So let's hear how that sounds. Let's go to the pre. And now the chorus. The verse again. And the middle eight. Okay, so what I like to do next is to create markers. I do this so I can move around the song swiftly. So if you right click on the arranger track, you get an option to create marker from arranger sections. If you click on that, now all my sections have markers. So I can use my numerical keyboard to move around my markers. So for instance, if I push three, it goes to the start or my first marker, and I can then go through all my markers by pushing say three, four, five, six, etc. Or I can scroll through the markers by pushing Shift N to go forwards or Shift B to go back. Now, say I didn't have an arrangement track, but I had markers. If I right click on the markers, I can create a range of section from markers. Thanks for watching. I'm Paul Drew from Studio One Expert, and I'll see you next time.